Cattle Guard Forms. I have just made a trip to Tampa. We have a uh, customer uh, veterinarian doctor who bought six cattle guards and he's going to um, be pouring concrete today and I told him I would like to come out and do a little filming so I'm getting kind of excited and I'm very close to his destination now okay this is uh, gate number one that we're doing today we're doing three of them these are two eight footers a 16 foot opening and you can see they've got the grade of dirt up high here. When you put this in, you don't pack it real hard with your foot. You just lightly touch it because you, you want that plastic wall to stay as straight as possible. If you see the wall curved in anywhere, just remove some of the dirt. And when you pour that concrete in here, it'll pull back out and then put the dirt back in. Any place where the foam was broken, you simply just put a little bit of dirt in there because all that's going to get taken out anyway after the pour. Concrete's going to go in here around all this rebar. Okay, folks, this cattle guard here is pretty much ready to pour. Okay, well, coming up to gate number two, you can see that they have these two cattle uh, guards up a little higher than the uh, land around it so the water will go around it in this case probably straight to that pond so let's look at it here well we can see we've got dirt around the whole perimeters that's good and um, any areas where we have broken um, foam like this which was there just put a little dirt in not a problem this gets thrown away anyway. One of the areas, we took the dirt away from it just a little bit because it was pushed in a little bit too much. Now, once the concrete goes in there, it will push back out and we'll put the dirt back. When you tamp this area around the edges, you don't want to go bang, bang, bang real hard. You just want to go like this, just a light touch, very light, because you want to keep those walls as straight as possible there. This is ready to back up the truck to and pour. You can either pour with a pump machine and you can walk on it if you want. If you pour with a pump machine, you just make sure it goes on these little beams. These foam tabs are just the gap areas. After we pour, we'll throw them away. If you don't use a pump machine, just pour the concrete on top. Now what you want to do is make sure you pour the concrete all at once as you come up. So you put a little bit in each beam as you're going up. Same way on this side. Don't just do one beam and then the next beam. You want to do a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit. Kind of tap it with a hammer. Little bit, little bit, little bit. Top it off and just use the hammer. And you'll see that in a little bit. We'll have some guys doing it. We're just waiting on the concrete truck. Cattle Guard Forms.